guys, I'm back to make another video. So today's gonna be kind of like a collective haul of lots of the makeup that I've bought recently because I haven't done a haul in like a really, really, really long time. And I've bought some, a fair amount of like new makeup -y bits. So I figured I would show you guys. So I'm gonna go buy brands first. And I'm gonna go buy, the first one I'm gonna do, I didn't actually buy, but I got it as my birthday gift from Sephora because my birthday was last month. So, if you're signed up as a beauty insider, you get two free little mini uh, NARS, do I have an actual name? Uh, velvet Matte Lip Balms, okay, you get, <laughs> you get one Velvet Matte Lip Balm in the color Cruella, which is actually stunning, like I wore it, and it's fucking beautiful, like I don't think I've ever had a more beautiful red ever in my life. Other than maybe the one I'm wearing today, because <laughs> I love this one as well. Um, and then you get a set and lip pencil in... Rick... Rick... I have no fucking... It looks like some kind of Swedish word. It's spelled R-I-K-U-G-I-E-N. I have no idea. And that's that one. Uh, next we'll do more brushes or more free brushes because I only bought one thing from there even though I have more stuff from them coming in the mail because I have a problem. So I recently you've seen this in a tutorial I used it at least once. Uh, this is the 35D palette. It is mostly dark shades. To be honest, it's mostly dark browns and silvers and kind of gray tones and some purples and then there's a couple like bright colors some golds, but it's just basically a very dark, almost neutral palette, kind of, sort of, not really. Ugh, almost dropped it. <laughs> uh, and yeah, I've used this quite a few times already. And next we'll do sleek products, because I bought a few things from there. So the first thing I bought was one of their palettes. This is the Vintage Romance palette, 141. This is what it looks like inside. Oh, the little brushes are flying. Um, oh, there you are. Ah, it's like an inception. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's very much like the types of shades that I like to wear. It's got some purples and black and some sparkly shades and like some pinky maroon shades, which are basically like my favorite color to wear for some reason. I don't know why. Maroon is just like a perfect color. Like it's bright enough that it still can be a bright color, but it's almost a neutral, but it's not a neutral. It's really great. It's one of my favorite colors. It's the only color that me and my best friend can agree on because she loves like neutral colors. She's very much into neutral colors for her clothing and stuff. And I'm obviously very much more into bright colors, but for some reason we both agree that maroon is just a really nice color. I then bought an eyeliner from Sleek. This is the Ooh La La, pa or the it's an Ooh La La liner, which is waterproof and smudge proof in Tonic 9 or 292. I can't speak today. Uh, so it's basically just like a kind of tealy green eyeliner pencil. And I think I used it, I used it once and it was really, really nice. Because the swatch online looked really nice. So I was like, and they're cheap. I think these cost like $2 or $3 or something like that. So you can't really go wrong. Even with the color, you don't end up liking it. Like, you can't go wrong. And the shipping from Sleek to Canada is like 3 bucks. It's ridiculous. So, like, ridiculously cheap. So I was like, might as well. And the last two things I bought from Sleek were two of their pigments because I have, um, there are two, I have the purple and the green pa um, pigment. The green one is like Laguna and I don't remember what the purple one is, but they're really nice. I've used them lots. So I wanted to buy some more because they're super cheap and I love like pigment eyeshadows. They're always super, like super nice. So I bought the black one, which is Spellbound and I brought, bought, brought. I bought the yellow, which is Sunfest, which I have used once. I think I've used both of them once, and they're super nice. They're super, super pigmented, as you can see, especially for, like, Sleek. Like, I don't know about lots of brands from the UK, but, like, Sleek, from what I can tell, it's definitely a very much, like, a drugstore brand. It's very cheap. Their stuff is very cheap, but it's honestly, like, amazing quality. It's not like some... There's a lot of drugstore brands that I find in Canada that are really not worth... Like, they're kind of expensive for a drugstore, like, for me to buy, like, products that are supposed to be a drugstore that are still, like, $15 or $20 seems expensive to me. 
and they just are not that good quality like some of them are just so shit and I've thrown out lots of drugstore products because and like there's times when you swatch it and it's okay but then you actually try and wear it and it just never looks the same it's just never the same so I've just given that stuff away or like thrown them out because it's not worth it but honestly if you're looking for super cheap uh, makeup and they take PayPal too sleek does so if you're looking for super cheap makeup uh, that's really good quality. Sleek is definitely a recommendation of mine. The next brand that I... I just tried out this brand for the first time. I've seen it a lot on like Instagram and a lot of my favorite uh, Instagrammers use it a lot. So I figured I had to try it. Uh, the brand's called Star Crushed Minerals and they specialize basically in mineralized eyeshadows and like glitter. Which obviously is like right on my alley. I just discussed this. So the first thing I bought was their glitter adhesive because the one that I have is really old and gross so I was gonna buy a new one so I bought their glitter adhesive. I bought three regular eyeshadows and then three glitter shadows. So the first one I bought was number 338 which is Hestia which is kind of like this very interesting reddy pink shade. I also really love the names. The names are great. Uh, the next regular one I got is an eyeshadow Galactica in Cannibalism. Which is like this really interesting like red shadow that is really nice. It's like, and they're all matte, obviously. So it was super nice and I wore it, I think I've worn it once and it was beautiful. Like I put it over top of another eyeshadow and I was like, yeah. uh, And the last of the solid eyeshadows, or the solid eyeshadow, eye pigments, is number 1112 in Skittles, which is like this nice orange color. Uh, it's a little bit of like a dark orange, like it's not, it's not fluorescent orange by any means. It's almost like an auburn orange because it looks like there's definitely some brown notes in it because of the color and like the shade. Uh, but there's glitter in it now that I'm looking at it. I opened it up and there's definitely glitter in here, which I don't know if I knew that before. I don't know if I've worn this one yet. <laughs> uh, but that's Skittles. And then for glitters, oh my goodness, their glitters on their website looked so am amazing and I had such a tough time trying to pick which one I wanted or which ones I wanted. So the first one I got was Black Cherry. Um, and this glitter is basically, it's a black glitter but it looks like it's got some pink and some blue and white in it and some like dark purple. It's really beautiful. I wore this one once and it was just... 10 out of 10. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Uh, the next one is Enchanted Evening, which is basically just like a mixture of every color. It looks like it's got like a silver base and I can see some red and green and blue, purple. Oh, I just breathed on it. Oops, don't do that. Glitter everywhere. Uh, and some silver. I haven't worn this one yet, but I really want to. I'm just like losing glitter. I'm watching glitter fall. Uh, so I really want to try this one because it looks really beautiful. And the last one I bought, which I've can kind of, I was kind of not impressed with it as I was hoping. Like I wasn't as pr impressed with it as I thought I was going to, because I tried all most of the other ones and they were all impressive. This one is in Electric Teal n uh, Nebula, so it's basically just like a black with blue in it. And I wore it with uh, a blue eyeshadow in the crease, like a teal. Because I figured like that would bring out the teal and the black so it didn't just look black and it just looked black. It just and I even kind of puts on my hand and it just kind of looks black. It's very disappointing. I mean I have, I've only tried it once so maybe if I try it again it'll be better but I tried it and it wasn't very impressive and I because uh, I applied it with the glitter base right because it's got glitter in it and it just made it really liquidy and, and then it dried and it didn't have any of the glitter in it anymore so I'm like oh maybe if I use it by itself without the glitter base it'll be different I'm obviously gonna try it more but as it stands right now I am kind of disappointed with this one so if I try this one out again soon and I'll remember I will tell you guys if it's any better but as it stands right now I don't like it <laughs> uh, and the last brand would be Kat Von D because I've bought lots of her stuff recently because I love Oh, if I could have like all of her lipsticks, I would probably only use those because they're so beautiful and like the packaging is so great and the names are great. Six, I think, of her lipsticks now because I have Poe, which is a navy blue, Slayer, which is a black, Coven, which is a lilac, and then those are three of her just like uh, studded lipsticks and then one of her liquid 
I have the navy blue one, which is in the color, hold on, it's right here, Echo, which is like a navy blue with like a purple undertone. It's really, really pretty. I used it in a video, I think. Uh, so we'll do the lip products that I bought from her. Uh, you guys have seen this one because I used it in a video, but just in case anyone hasn't watched that video, I bought this one, which is in the color Mother. It's a beautiful, like, it's a pink, so it's kind of like in the neutral end, but it's honestly so, so pretty. It looks good with almost everything. It's like the lipstick that I go to when I have like a super bright like eye area and like eyebrows and I don't really know what kind of lips to pair with it. I almost always turn to this color because it's super nice and it's cool toned and most of my eye looks are cool toned so it is gorgeous. <laughs> and the last lipstick that I bought from her is in Wolfbane or Wolf's Mouth. Wolfsbane. I keep thinking it's Wolfsbane. It's Wolf's Mouth. Um, and this is one of her brand new shades. I wore this one once and it was beautiful. I loved it. Um, it's basically like a magenta pink and it's got some glitter in it. It's beautiful. Like if you get the chance to even swatch this one, I definitely would because you will fall in love with it if you like darker colors because it's kind of dark, but it's gorgeous. I highly recommend, I highly recommend most of her products. So, but if you want, like, her lipsticks are really good. Especially if you like fun colors, Kat Von D, when it comes to, like, Sephora, is the way to go. Because most brands I find don't have that many fun colors. Like, even Urban Decay, their lipstick section is all still kind of normal reds and pinks and browns and orange. But Kat Von D has lots of very interesting colors. So I always gravitate towards her lipsticks because they're the best ones I can get my hands on without having to pay for shipping. And the very last thing that I bought was Kat Von D's new Mi Vada Loca palette. I think that's how you say it. I don't know. I'm gonna say that every time. So it's her new, I think this is, a, I think she described it as a revamp of, a new, of an old palette that I was not aware of because it got discontinued before I started following her brand. But this is the cover and it slides out. And this is the magnificent wheel of colors that I love and you'll be seeing this in so many videos because most of the colors are beautiful. Um, I've tried probably almost three quarters of these colors like around the outside. I haven't tried a couple of these greens yet and this one and like these two like lighter colors right here. But I think other than that I've used all of these colors on around the outside. My, so I mean basically I'm in love with this palette. But if I had anything bad to say about it, it would be that it's far too big. Like, it's bigger than my head, so it's kind of bulky. If I'm going to bring bright eyeshadows on a trip somewhere, I'm going to go with my electric palette, honestly, because it's just smaller. The money, I highly, highly recommend it because this palette's like 70 bucks Canadian. I don't know how much it is in the United States, but it's 70 bucks Canadian. So it's kind of expensive, but it is a lot of eyeshadow in a palette, so... If you have the money, I would highly, highly suggest this one. If you don't want to pay 70 and you're okay paying 50, the electric palette would be my next go-to if you want to try bright colors. Because we all know bright colors are basically like my life and they're how I like to live my life. But that is about it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please give this video a like and leave me a comment if you have any of these products or if there are products you would like me to try or your tried and true products from wherever, it does not matter. I'm willing to buy things online as you have seen. If there's something you would like me to try or something you would like to recommend to me, I love getting product recommendations and things like that. So I would, if you want, leave them in the comments or if there's a product you'd like to see me try out in a video, leave me a comment as well. I will definitely try my best to get my hands on that product to try it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys very, very soon in a new video. Bye!